Bank Holiday Monday on Retro Lounge. Um, so what are we doing this episode? Well, if you remember last week, the uh, the wheel picked us homebrew. Mm-mm-mm, homebrew. Um, so what that means, in general, is um, games programmed for uh, older consoles after the life of the console uh, and, you know, just released um, in public domain and shareware and those sorts of uh, things. Um, so we've got ten. Ten games to get rid of. Uh, yes, I thought I'd added another one earlier on today, but I'm saving it for later, obviously. Um, so we've got... Uh, oh, thank you. Yes. Um, we've got some... Famicom Disk System, if it works. We've got some Game Boy. We've got some Neo Geo Pocket. Some NES. Some Mega Drive. And some Turbo Graphics. And I think you might recognise at least two of these games. Because I think they're reworkings of classic arcade games. However, let's um, kick off uh, on the Famicom Disk System. Sometimes we have a problem getting these starting. Um... In fact, there's no point in me looking for that game just yet, is there? Because what am I doing? What am I doing? I had a little pina colada while I was making tea. And look, I'm still in the big screen. I need to be over there. Oh, dear, oh dear. Uh, right. Ooh, there we go. Um, so where was I? Yes, Famicom Disk System. Uh, occasionally, we have a little bit of a problem getting these working. Um, well, there's no need for that, Naughty Cluster. There's no need for that. Um, so, at least we've got past the main starting point of um, the Famicom Disk System. So this is a game called Bish Uju Sexy Puzzle. Um, I have no idea... I'm starting to wish that I'd played it a little bit because I've got no idea what we're going to come across here. But if it's too naughty, I'll turn it off. How's that sound? Sounds fair enough, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so... Okay, so the talking wasn't good. So, Famicom Disk System. Um, basically the NES, I believe, for all intents and purposes. Well, there isn't a side beat, so... Yes, yes, um, Nutty Cluster liked the pig, wrote that she liked what she saw on screen, but by then it had already changed to a sexy lady. So... Uh, but as it turns out, we might not be uh, we might not be playing this anyway. Cause look, it's got disc. Uh, that's what it's doing. Okay. Well, well, we always give them at least one chance. So let's uh, let's do a restart. There's a. Super Pig that's got nothing to do with the game whatsoever. I wonder if you're just not pressing the buttons and waiting and being patient. Nope. Right. Okay, that's start. Down, up, left, right. Oh, it's even worse this time. Select. No. Well, we might have to dig another one out of the archive then because uh, that brings us down to nine. Well... What a bugger. So, um, okay, well, 
let's move on to the Game Boy, shall we? Um, Game Boy. Okay. <clears throat> let's move across here. Yeah, good start, innit? Ugh. Bloody Famicom Dead System. Who'd have thunk it? Right, so we're moving to the Game Boy then, and we're gonna um, we're gonna play a game called Worm Visitors. Um, and see what this is. Oh, is this Frogger? Oh, all right. Ah, okay. So I need to work out how his control says, don't I? Okay, let's freezy freeze. Oh, can I get through that? I don't think I can, can I? Well, that's... Oh. So he doesn't move. Like I would expect. He doesn't move equally to the um, cars. So it's difficult to get an, an angle on where he is. Look, you see, I didn't think he was going to run into that then. And he needs to go down that way to get... Look! Oh, it looks like there's plenty of room and there isn't. have one game to see how it works. No, those how is he supposed to get up there if he When it first started, I thought, oh, do you know what? Looks pretty good, this. No. I always think I've got more room than I than I have. Nope. In two spaces. It's not just me. Right. How do I not move two spaces? Look. That. Oh. Is there an option where I can only move? I hold the button down. No, I still move two spaces forward. Right, there's got to be something wrong there. second I've got to have a look at the controls because it is moving forwards two spaces there's nothing on the controls look into the path of the lorry car right so that would go into the lorry if I wasn't careful
Oh. Well, I'm glad at least I did one, one of them. So, let's keep score then, shall we? We've got a, a Frogger clone. Now these seem to be more traditional. Oh, he says, dying horribly. No, I'm not trying to chase it. Now, what's the metal thing? Is that going to kill me? Oh, what's that when it's at um? Oh, no! Why did I even do that? I wanted to move further up the log, forgetting that it's going to mean I jump it. I'm going to get a bit further down here and just give myself a little bit, uh, a little bit more room. Oh no! Oh, did it again! There's just something in me that wants to move further up the log to get a better jump. Said the vicar. Stay at the bottom of the log, Mark. Stay at the bottom of the log. Nearly fell for it as well. Yes, calm those fingers, that's correct. That's what she said. No! This time. I just I can't help myself. I just keep. Oh, press it, press it. Oh, gotta press it. Don't even know what the feather does. Just one more go. Got no chance. Oh, they're not logs. You can't jump on them. Just so you know. Bet you can't jump on here either, can you? 
Nope, can't jump through there. Oh! What happened then? <sighs> oh no! Okay. Are we waiting for a gap? I think we're waiting for a gap, shall we? Oh, think then. Oh no! Dagnabbit! Is there no gap? Oh! Oh, how irritating. Um, I don't quite know what the chili does to be honest with Pad went off. Oh no, the pad's lost connection. Just turn it off and turn it back on. See what happens. Won't make it now because I've run out of time. Worm visitor and to be quite honest as a frogger clone it wasn't that bad I don't think I quite quite liked it um okay let's move now to a game called spaces and there is no prizes uh, for guessing what this might be an emulation of um, as I've not played any of them, I'm not sure, but sometimes the um, the title screen when you start it could give you um, a clue. As it says, Space Invaders. Oh, is this square also? Well, well, in that case, why not? Why not? Let's stay on this screen, shall we? Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Oh, straight in. Um, no sound. Yeah, it doesn't have any audio.
Uh, I'm, I'm assuming there wasn't a good um, Space Invaders on the... Uh... So this is the Neo Geo Pocket. Oh, yeah, bugger. Um, which had a reasonable set of games, to be honest. Um, we do have a, a Neo Geo... Now we've started doing unplayed... Um, it's it's slightly different, but we uh, we did have Neo Geo on the wheel as its own episode, um, primarily because I own one. Uh, and it's kind of it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. I mean, there's not a lot about that uh, space invaders, is there? Really? They're uh... oh, shooter shooting you! Oh, whoa! I didn't see that last one. Straight in though. Oh, they're getting faster. Didn't quite get under there. Oh, oh, nearly walked into another one. Oh, I don't like that you can only have one bullet on screen at a time. Does sound weird not having any noise though. So many bullets, and one of them got me. Oh, and again, wow, they're getting a bit fast now. Oh. There you go, getting a bit fast. Ah, oh, I know it's only Space Invaders, but we should have just have another go, cause uh, just cause. I mean, to be fair, some bloke has programmed this in his bedroom somewhere, or his office at work. So, with all, all due respect to him, oh, stuck my ass out a little bit too far in there then. Um... Well, you say or her, you know, and I wouldn't want to stereotype video game nerds um, programming their own games, but um, it's, it's almost definitely, almost definitely a man. Um... Because they're called James.
Ah, it's annoying when you run into it. Pew pew pew. Doom 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 Oh, yeah. There we go. Um, space invaders, uh, spaces, as it's known. Um, it's by a guy, and I can't do this for everybody. It just so happens his name's in the title of the game. Uh, Jim Bagley. Jim Bagley. There you go. Spaces. Uh, and we stay in with the um. Neo Geo Pocket as we play a game called Thieves and I'm not sure what this one's going to be to be honest with you and just in case you're wondering this is the other one that I can tell you oh there is another one there is a third one that I can tell you who did it uh, this one is Ivan McIntosh mm -hmm. Ivan McIntosh okay oh why is that a different size they should all stay the same size. I didn't check space invaders. I hope that was all right. Okay, thieves. So, oh, ooh, I wonder if it's card related. Oh, I, I'm I'm not. What are we playing? Are we playing solid air? Solid air. Oh, looks like it, doesn't it? Well, I'm not going to be sp spending a, a massive amount of time. Well, especially as I don't really know how it works. How's, uh, how am I supposed to pick a card up? Okay, well, Ivan, um, my pad is connected, but I can't make any of the buttons work. So, um, so boo, boo to that. We're going to have to add, add games on the fly. Whoa, okay. Um, okay, well, well, this is... This is what happens, in it. This is what happens. Uh, let's move on to our next game, then. We're moving to the NES now. There's a, a ton of NES homebrew, and when we get to hacks, wow, the NES and the SNES uh, hacked up the wazoo. There, there's loads of them. Um, but we're doing homebrew tonight, so let's try this one. This one is called Big Nose the Caveman. And it's by Codemasters, which is not what I would have expected for a homebrew. So maybe we're playing some games that aren't necessarily homebrew, but let's play them anyway. We're not here for facts. Alright, does this look like something we've played before? Is it, um... Uh, I can't remember. Is it Bonk? Possibly. Oh! I wasn't watching, I was looking at the bones.
Oh! Yes, yes! I know I did. There's no need to remind me. I... I pressed the hit button. I don't think it was in black and white. I think it was a Mega Drive game. Not a NES game. Oh, you've got to be dead on with them. I'm going to jump over them rather than try hitting them. I just learned then that you um, you can shoot. Didn't know that previously. Game over. Gonna make me start right back at the start again, aren't you? Oh, rebel scum. We've got to have at least one more go.
Okay, the more berries you get, the more you throw. Completely got me then. Ah, well. <sighs> Swine bags. There you go, big nose the caveman. Um, we're sticking with the NES uh, for a couple more games at least um, because we're going to uh, play now a game called Duck Maze. Yeah, Duck, Duck Maze. And on that screen now it just says Duck, but the file name's Duck Maze. Uh, let's see what we're going to get, shall we? All right. I've got a jump. Oh. Uh, right, so I feel it probably shouldn't drop more than... More than one level, do you reckon? So, but, but, if that's the case, yeah, I can't dig through there, so it has to, it has to drop at least here. Alright, push it back that way a little bit. Right. We should not done that now because am I trapped? Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Okay, that's not good. <laughs> nope.
Right, so if I push it... Ooh. If I push it onto that green, I'm not going to get through, am I? Oh, no. This feels a little bit like um, the same sort of mechanics as Load Runner when we played Load Runner. Why can't I get into that? In that, you're going to have to... See, why can't I... This could be really bad for it. Yep, it's really bad for it. Okay. What are we going to do, chat room? What are we going to do? Do we go down the other side, maybe? can't drop it on things either. Oh. Not, still not 100% sure I understand the rules. And you can't skip back to Yeah, exactly. What's the aim? The aim, I think, is to get the egg to the bottom. So you have to tunnel through. And the egg can drop one level but can't land on anything so that sort of fall is fine but if you fall a long way you're done so <clears throat> Not sure what the actual white line is. So I think we have to take these off a bit at a time. And you can't take it off while you stood on it. Okay. Then. Oh, are we going to do this now? We need to move. Egg. Oh, now you see someone's growing in there which is going to be a pen in the ass right it looks like it could be a wolf coming to take my egg Is it going to go back the other direction? Doesn't look like it is. A dance, yes, it is a dancing wolf. Right, it's irritating, isn't it? Um, okay. No, too high. if I can get rid of start you know like <laughs> oh actually no because then I won't be able to jump back up will I okay so 
oh, one of these was a wolf. Ah, oh, I'm stuck now. Well, Dancing Wolf's gonna get me egg. happens if I right so if I peck that it drops is that useful information no it's not useful information at all I'll go. Right, that makes sense. I can't get rid of So are the green things a red herring? Or a green herring. So, Naughty Cluster, it's infuriating, but why? Could you elaborate? What's the, what's the infuriating part of it? Me playing it? All the mechanics of the game. Oh no. Todge. Not being able to work it out. Okay. Fair enough. I'll buy that for a dollar. Right, bye George. Have I got it? I think we could probably just go down here, do you not think? Nowhere. 
bit irritating that you have to be off the entirely off the block to peck it. Uh, oh, what do I need to do now? Didn't want to do that. Okay. So now... Ooh, now we're stuck, aren't we? Because I can't drop it that many levels. No, I can't. Oh no! I wasn't where I expected it to go. Uh, anyway, duck or duck maze, depending on who you believe. Um, and that was on the NES. Okay. So we're staying with the NES now. And we're going to go with... Um, Pest Terminator. Ooh, now. Let me have a look at the screen and see. Well, Nutty Cluster, you may call it that, but that's the sort of person you are. Foul language. Ronnie, not Ron, Ronnie, not Roland. Ronnie the Super Rat is plotting to take over the world with his mutated super pests. Right. Splat the rat. Ooh. Can't kill the ants. Can you go in these doors? Hmm, you can do, kind of. Right, how'd you get the wasps? Can't get out there. Where the bloody hell am I going? Titan. No, I don't want to go up the stairs. Oh, she's annoying. Right, can't hit them. Oh, I can't jump very high either. What's that? Could jump very high before. Super fond of this. See, look how high he's jumping there. Hit the spiders. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's no way out or down or maybe that's one of the other doors. Can you only get there when you're jumping? No, stop. Oh, these automatic climbing the stairs is annoying. Okay, so that, that level's clear of pests. Nope. 
No, 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 no. Back in, you stupid idiot. Right. Right, so it does stay clean then, does it? Have we been in all these doors? No, we haven't. Those other things not spiders. You're not gonna make us clean it all again, are you? No. a little oh, I did a go at the door at the end oh what's he doing back What are you trying to say? Well, I think Naughty Cluster's called it. I think uh, it's scratched. Oh, there you go, Pest Terminator. Uh, terminated. So we're going to move on to the Mega Drive for now. Yes. We're going to, we're going to play a game. We're going to play two games, actually, on the Mega Drive. Um, one of them is called Earth Defense. And there it is. Has a Japanese air to it. Mm. 
Mm. Japanese gives it a Japanesey feel to it. Not very good at dodging. See? expected to at least be able to shoot them. See, I kind of like games like this, so I just wish I could play them, you know? Or at least had a shield. A shield would be nice. This thing's shooting the shit at me. Too many bullets! Catching them with my the front end of my earth defense plane. Come on, we've got to have another go, haven't we? Got to. I've watched people play them and there's like hundreds of bullets just floating around and they're just swooping and inside and out of them. And it's like, how, how the hell? Practice, I guess. All right. Oh, you see, look, I just ran right into the fucking thing.
Yeah. We should not have done that. I can't move that fast while I'm firing. I think it's because it's putting out so many bullets, it's slowing the screen down. Ah. Come on, there must be a way. Worth it. Not sure how I can kill this. Come on, I've been shooting the shit out of it for ages. me. At the very least we've completed a stage. Is this one where I crash into the land if I hit it? No, surely not. Ah, oh, yeah, rebel scum. <sighs> Well, we got so far that I don't want to do it all again. Um, but there you go, Earth Defense. 
on the Mega Drive. Okay, let's uh, we're down to our last couple of games now, and uh, the next one is also on the Mega Drive, and it's called Oh Mummy. So I don't know if this is um, about a maternal figure or an Egyptian figure, but we'll find out. Um, I think we'll play the Mega Drive version. Um, let's see what we get. Oh. Lance Colton and his friend, Eve Chu. So she doesn't look very Chinese, if that is indeed a Chinese name. Chow? We're off to Egypt. Oh. Right. Oh no, not guardians. Adventure or survival? I think adventure's more for us, isn't it? Right, buttons don't seem to do anything. And I can't go out of there. So, what, what am I to do? Oh, it's Amadar! Alright, alright, alright. Okay. So we played Amadar last time, uh, last when we did mazes. Um, and you basically have to make lines and fill in. Right, it's chasing me now. So I think as I've got the key, I can leave. How am I supposed to... Oh, it remembers, but it can't. So it's not going to show me where. So I've missed one here. There we go. Right, so red mummy coming out, so my time's running out. Right, I've got the key, so I can leave. Oh, I can't move, can't move. Oh, what was that? Oh, well, that's not good. Why can't I move?
just being greedy now. I should go. How can I? Oh. Wow, dude. Oh. So in the past, I've complained about my pad being um, a little finicky where it, it won't, it like does lefts and rights um, instead of ups and downs. Um, and in this case, I can really see it as well. It's really... That'd be good. Oh, it's all oh, right. So it's not just my pad. That that demon, whatever it was, that cat goddess, was reversing my controls. Also, come on, let's have another go at that. We like Amada. Oh no, do we have to wait for it to finish? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, let's, um, I'm not blaming my tools, I'm telling you, I'm explaining about it. Not, it's not blaming them. What we'll do is, let's have a look at the other one. Let's play classic and see what we get. See, see what I mean? Can't get down that one. Yeah, not as good.
This seems less forgiving than the Genesis version. I do have more problems with my pads. Um, I mean, I think it's actually, ironically, I think it's because the pad's too modern. Um, it does diagonals. Doing long stretches seems to be the best way of dealing with these controllers. Well, there you go two versions of oh mummy um basically a reworking of amadar there we go uh and talking of a reworking um of a classic game our last game is on the turbo graphics or the pc engine depending on where you're from and it's called crunch with a K, Kurt Runch. And as you can see by the screenshot I've just got you, there's a distinct possibility that it's a homebrew clone of Pac-Man. Yes, Pac-Man. Um, so we're going to end with this. And um, I'm a bit worried that there's black ghosts on a black background. Let's find out. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, of course. No sound. Not going to get to it quick enough. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah. It's Pac-Man. It doesn't just quite fit on the screen, which is weird. And Pac-Man in this is um, a, a fan of Rambo, by the looks of it. Oh, thank you, Nutty Cluster, for doing the chomp chomp whacka whacka noise. Oh, I can't get him to go up there. So why does he go off the edge of the screen? Is that a me problem or is that a... Could be just an emulation problem, I suppose. Oh, I can't get him to go sideways like that. Oh, come on. Oh, he died so soon. Let me just, uh... that's full screen, I don't want to toggle full screen. 
Right, it's not changing the actual... It's not changing the window if I make it bigger or smaller. Um, it just doesn't fit the screen. Okay, so it's it's not a me thing. Just so you know. Let's have another go. So we're using the analog stick as always with the um, turbo graphics. Um, but it doesn't want to behave itself very much. It's it's weird. It's not a. I'm not complaining about the pad. Honest. I'm just telling you. There we go. No. It goes to the side when I don't want to go to the side. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's weird watching it watching it with no no sound. I have no more power pills left, do I? Oh, for Pete's sake. Every now and again, it stops. Now, I wonder if that's a feature. Anyway, we've done a whole shot on Pac-Man. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I don't think you need to see any more Pac-Man, do you? There you go, Crunch. Uh, Crunch by Frank Caputo. For the Turbo Graphics. Um, and that brings us to the end of our first homebrew. Um, so I have a whole bunch of these. So we're gonna we're gonna be doing homebrew again further down the line. Um unless you remember and say please don't. You have to get in touch. Don't say stop it. Stop it or else. Um so then it's time for a little bit of this. Yes, over there is the wheel. Yeah, it's looking a little funky at the moment, bear with me. There we go. Wheelie wheel. Uh so, you old-timers, you know that the wheel tells us what we're going to play next week. Um, so let's spin it and find out, shall we? What? Okay. So, uh, the bastard brother of homebrew is Hacks. So, um, next week we'll we'll be playing hacks of famous games. So my example is um, Amy the Edgehog, who wasn't in Sonic One. A hack would be you can play Sonic One with Amy. Um, so people have taken bits from other games and put them in other games, and mixed and matched them and. Hacked them, you might say. So next week is going to be a little bit like this week. We're going to play a whole bunch of games um, that are just going to look slightly off. There's just going to be a little bit of messing around with them. And um, we're going to see what they look like. They might be shite. They might truly be shite. But we're going to play them and find out. Yes, Amy the Edgehog. Uh, it's an apostrophe. Edgehog. Um, so, yes, that means, it means, um, I'm going to have to look through some of the hacks now and put them all together for you, but, uh, that's next week anyway. Um, so if you want, you can email us. Did you know that? You can. Yes. At Snug Radio is, is this bit, this bit here, but 
retro at snugradio.co.uk retro at snugradio.co.uk if you want to tell me to stop it um but also the uh the website snugradio.co.uk um we're also we're also on uh twitch if you're watching this on youtube you missed the live show on twitch uh but if you're watching it on twitch did you know there's a record edited version on youtube um it's not that it's it's not not different at all if you've seen this you've seen everything basically um also we're on facebook twitter tiktok as snug radio believe it or not um if you really want to chat and you want to come over for free join our discord the link will be um everywhere basically if you watch it on youtube it's in the notes if you're watching it on twitch uh, and a repeat then it's in the notes uh, just come to come to the Discord and say hi. Um, I think that's everything. It seems I seem to have got through it a lot quicker than normal. So I, I don't know. Just find us everywhere. A snug radio. Come by and say hello. Um, oh, and like, rate, ring bells, d- 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 comment, review, all those things. Yeah, all the things that you're supposed to do. D- just do them. That'd be great. We'd love you for it. Um, so until next week when we're hacking about uh, I've been Matt this has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge Um, we'll be back at the same time same place next week play something retro goodbye